Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha if you guys are new here. In today's video, we're doing another maintenance vlog. I'm actually heading out right now to go get my nails done. So this is like what my nails look like. I'm gonna miss these nails actually. I thought they were so cute. I never even got a good photo of them. I got them just before Jamaica and then I was like rushing. I'll show you guys the nails that I'm gonna do. We actually have to head out right now, hold on. I'm gonna try to get her to do these nails, except I do still want like an almond shape and I want her to like freestyle some 3D chrome detailing to it. So we will see, but I'm heading there right now and I'm actually not sure what I'm gonna be doing in this video for my maintenance. I do know that I wanna do self tanner again because I really wanna keep this tan up because I'm absolutely loving it. It makes me wanna keep going on vacation because I just feel like I tan so well. I got a smoothie earlier, so I'm just finishing that up. We're gonna head out now and I'll see you guys once we arrive at the nail salon. Okay guys, I just got to my nail appointment. Sorry if you can hear the AC. Katie actually DM'd me and told me she was like running behind. So we're a bit early, so it made me have even more time. So I was just like snapping a few pics in here. But I think I'm gonna just head inside now. See what the vibes are in there. I don't know. I feel like it's probably busy in there, which is why she's probably running behind. I just finished with my nails. She didn't have the exact gold chrome like I really wish she did, but it's okay. I went for this darker one. Think that if I did go for the lighter one, it would have looked way better, but I just needed to do something different. You know, I always do the same thing. This is literally what my nails keep coming out as. And this is what I wanted. It's just not giving the same effect. I'm literally so picky when it comes to my nails. I'm doing this on my floor because I have no patience to set up a whole workstation. I'm just gonna work on these right here and I'm just gonna take off the color and I'm just gonna probably put a nude color because they're just not it right now. If you guys can see, I tried filing them and now it's like lifting and I'm just not happy with them, you guys. I don't know if you guys like them. I feel like they look way better in person, but this is just not it. So I'm gonna take them off. There's no going back now. I think I'm gonna wash them and see what color I want to do. So I'm on my way right now to go get laser hair removal. It is my first session, so I'm gonna do my Brazilian, I'm gonna do my underarms, and I'm gonna book in um, multiple sessions so that I can get that out of the way. Um, I've been like delaying doing that and I've been wanting to do it, so. Yeah, I just figured why not just do it now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to film it for you guys. Maybe the underarms, I don't know. It really depends on how comfortable I am with whipping out my camera. Sometimes I feel like if it's kind of like not the time to do it, obviously I'm not gonna whip out my camera. Sometimes I don't like asking and I just won't do it. So we'll see what the vibes are. So 
I didn't film anything because it was so quick, you guys. I think next time I'll be able to film. Like, I didn't realize how quick it was and it stung just a little bit. Like, it wasn't actually painful down there. It was more painful on my left underarm. Oh, I should have shown you guys a before. I already booked my next one, so I go back in four weeks exactly. I'll show you guys, like, progress that it's making with my underarms. I'm just really excited to see the progress with that. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated in my next maintenance vlog. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do today. I'm just going to finish up my nails. This side I haven't painted, but this is the side I did. I feel better about how they look now just being plain nude. I know I just feel like I'm so indecisive. I tried to be like different and try to pick out something, but you know, sometimes it doesn't work out. When I tell you guys that this is literally taking me forever. I don't know if I already mentioned that I'm doing poly gel on my toes and I've never done that before. I forgot how hard poly gel is to work with, but I finally just finished one side of my toenails because I'm just going to show you guys how I do the next side, which I don't even know if I'm going to get that on camera for you guys properly, but let me show you guys how they look. So this is what they're looking like. I still need to put cuticle oil. I'm doing poly gel because it makes them a little bit longer. These ones are kind of shorter and I'm just going to do poly gel on all of them. I am just doing the one side, so hopefully doesn't take too long but yeah you guys can see the before and after i'm also catching up on love island so i've just been like watching that while i'm doing them so it's taking me even longer yeah i'm gonna just get to them hopefully i can show you guys properly but that is what we're about to do right now okay so these are the before nails i'm using the rosalind poly gel in nude i'm gonna start off with base coat <laughs> So I just got to my Botox and filler appointment. I might just do a little bit of filler. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do a full, and then I do wanna do my forehead. Anyways, let's go ahead and head inside. It's literally midday. I'm gonna go grab some self-care products, beauty supplies. Honestly, I didn't even touch my face for the past couple days just because I was reacting a lot with my acne. I'm getting a lot of breakouts right now, so I really just wanted to like let it breathe for a couple days. So today's like the day where it's kind of like less intense. So I really need to shave my face and get myself together because it is the weekend and I'm like, I just need to not look a hot mess. So I think I'm gonna go to Rexall, which is like really close to me. So I'm gonna grab some self-care products, body products. Uh, feminine wash stuff like that so i'll take you guys along with me and then we'll go ahead and shave our face and everything and get ourselves all together also it's been a couple days since i've had my botox so you guys see i can't raise that's how much i can raise here you can see if i really do it then you can see those lines for my crow's feet you can't see them my lips are definitely like this is how they're looking now I absolutely love them. Anyways, let's head out and get this shopping out of the way.
Okay, you guys, so I'm back from the store and I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with plucking my eyebrows and then I'm gonna go ahead and shave my face. These are very overdue, you guys. Okay, so that's one eyebrow done. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eyebrow. All right, you guys, so we're all done our eyebrows and I'm gonna go ahead and shave my face. I'm gonna go in with this oil here. Honestly, you can use any oil. This is gonna help glide the dermaplaning tool and then this is it right here. I love to shave my face, you guys, so this is gonna help remove dead skin cells, the peach fuzz. It'll also help with exfoliating the skin and I definitely wanna exfoliate because I do wanna go in with a self tanner today. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, you guys, I'm about to get in the shower. So I'm not gonna go in depth with the shower, but I did get some new products that I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna use this new exfoliant body polish by Dove. And I used their body polishes before, but I'm gonna try this one. This one is crushed macadamia and rice milk. It smells so good. And then I'm gonna try the hydrating cream to foam cleanser. I definitely wanted to get a cleanser that removes makeup as well. I really love the CeraVe foaming cleanser, the regular one, not the hydrating. And I really like that one, but it doesn't say it removes makeup and it doesn't really remove makeup so i'm glad i got this one i'm gonna try this one out and then i also got the summer's eve feminine wash this is in island splash and then before i do self tanner i'm gonna let my body really soak with some moisturizer because i always find with the self tanner it makes my skin very very dry so i want to load up on some lotion and really let that set in and then i want to lotion again just before i do it this is a peel mask but it's hydrating and then i'm also going to put a mask on my feet so this is a moisturizing and smoothing foot mask right here and then we'll go in with some self tanner i'll get back to you guys once we're ready to put on our masks and let our body soak before we self tan so
I'm just separating my hair so that it can air dry while we do our masking. So we're gonna do a foot mask and we're also gonna do a face mask. So we're gonna do a hydrating mask because I wanna be more gentle on my skin right now and I don't wanna do any more like exfoliating or deep into the pores kind of situation. So I'm gonna bring back that moisture with this mask. It's called the peel mask. But I'll do the foot mask first. I don't see an opening, so I'm just gonna cut this. Put one foot inside. Okay, so just like that, and we're gonna leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. In my last maintenance vlog, if you guys saw, I used a foot mask in that one. That foot mask is way better already, just because it had more moisture in the sock, and also it opened easily. This one was kind of confusing. This is the face mask. Okay, I think this is gonna be a clear mask. mask dry for 10 to 15 minutes and then peel off starting from the jaw upwards finish by rinsing thoroughly with warm water so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna wait so about 15 minutes and then we can take it off so while we're doing that i'm gonna moisturize the body this is the cocoa butter by nivea this is the body lotion deep moisture and i'm just gonna moisturize the whole body Okay, you guys, it's time to take this mask off and it says to peel it. I don't know why, to me it doesn't look like it's gonna peel, but it's been like well over. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so I think I got everything off my face. I need to rinse it with some warm water, so I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna remove the foot mask and then I'll tie my hair up so we can get started with our tanning routine. wearing a bandeau but you guys can't see it i'm gonna go ahead and tan my whole body so this is a quick before and then we'll start on my legs and then i'll do my arms your boy got the full body do rag out drop the roof and let the smoke clear I got diamonds to win since he's sliding both in Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight Slip that on and we might miss the fight Fuck a night, I keep the koala in my shorty bag You know she won a mom when she tattooed that ass I'm a lover boy, she got her toys She been coming in my rider It's that room I suffer, tell you count my biggest shit It's that step That is it for today, I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow when I have my tan all developed I'm looking at my tan, you guys. I feel like this is probably the worst that's come out. Look at my chest, you guys. I don't know why it's not fully blended on my chest. You guys see all those streaks? I put my hands on my chest and my tummy and I'll sleep like this sometimes. I'm thinking that's how that got really dark. Um, everywhere else, the elbows are kind of looking a little dark. Um, but hopefully when we shower, that'll come off. I never have an issue with my chest area. So I'm like really confused how that got, how that got really like uneven i might just like apply some more i don't know um the legs i have like this leg i don't know for some reason it's super dry so the tan is picking up a lot on this leg the feet came out nice it's literally just the thigh area here and then same with this leg the thigh area is just a little bit dark but this one's like way worse you know what i need to check i'm gonna look at that 
tanning stuff. It expired last month. Does that mean the first or? I feel like one month shouldn't like make a difference though. This said it expired on June of 2023. It's July 14. Because if it's the 30th, 14 days, that's not that bad. And how accurate are these expiration dates? I'm thinking maybe that's what it is or it's the way I applied it. Anyways, I'm going to shower and clean my body. Besides the patchiness here, how's the tan looking? So I got back from the gym. I took two showers. So I took a shower just before the gym and then I took a shower again just now so that I can get ready for the day. So this is what the tan is looking like. Um, I don't know if I checked in with you guys after my first shower, but it didn't end up making like patchy marks. My elbows are fine as well. And then my legs are nice and smooth now. I just like went over with like the loofah and kind of scrubbed my legs a little and it like made it all seamless. And I'm not sure why it was so patchy before the shower, but I'm assuming maybe I like moved around the product just before I was showering. So it didn't end up ruining my tan, but yeah, so I'm nice and tanned. Oh, I should put my nose ring back in. So basically I'm just gonna get ready now for the day. I don't think I'm gonna go in depth with my makeup. I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna do my hair. I'm just gonna blow dry my hair. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any curling to it, but I wanna try this new product. I got this John Frieda Volume Lift. This is a thickening blowout spray. So I think I'm just gonna blow dry my hair and I love things that really help with volumizing the hair. So yeah, this is gonna give a volume and lift without the weight. I got this La Roche Posay face SPF 50 face cream and then the Big Mood Mascara by e.l.f. Because um, I ran out of mascara or the one that I have is waterproof and I don't like waterproof mascara all the time. Right now I'm going to put on this teeth whitening strip right here and this you're supposed to keep on for an hour so I'm probably not going to be able to talk if I sound weird that's why. So I'm going to go in with these teeth strips because I definitely need some whitening on there. I feel like my teeth are looking yellow. did my makeup and everything i'm gonna figure out an outfit and see what i'm aware for today and then i'll check out with you guys once i've got my outfit on so okay i'm just about done so i'm gonna do my hair i think i'm gonna leave two pieces out because i'm wearing this top and i forgot to take off my teeth thing so huh kind of hard to take off i think that definitely made a difference anyways you guys i have this cute top on but I'm going to go ahead and fix my hair I'm just gonna put it half up half down with these little pieces down because I am gonna take a photo with this um, shirt and this skirt on all right you guys this is the finished look I just put on some body lotion to keep my tan nice and moisturized this is the body butter by the body shop it smells so good but yeah I could really go for some more 
So that is the end of the video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel so cute, you guys. And my tan's really nice and I'm ready to enjoy my day. I don't know if you guys can see my fit. I'm wearing this cargo skirt and this like really cute top. I'll hopefully have a photo on my Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'll have the link here. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my maintenance vlog, transformation, whatever we're gonna call this one. Um, and if you guys wanna see any more videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.